What's up, my fish fam? Today we are on Castaic Lake again. Woo! It's been a second. It is definitely almost springtime. I sh probably shouldn't be wearing a hoodie right now because uh, I was sweating trying to get this boat dry from McClure. If you haven't watched that video yet, I will link it right above. Sorry again for that GoPro to crap out. GoPros. Doing a little afternoon session. It's about 12.30. Gonna try and uh, run around, try and see what this lake is doing now. I haven't been here in probably, I don't know, six months? It's been some time. This is uh, the training grounds, if you will. This is definitely my favorite place to tighten up on all the skills and not catch that many bass. But hopefully I can change that and hopefully we can get on a little something here at Castaic Lake. But uh, thanks again for tuning in, you guys, and uh, let's get it. That's what we're gonna do. We'll do a four inch Senko. Four inch Senko. fish a four inch senko like super slow. This is a bait that uh, I put down for a while. Um, not for any old reason, but I felt like I've already kind of put a lot of time in with this bait, so I didn't feel the need to uh, keep putting in more time with it. But uh, more recently, I've been picking it back up and trying to find the nuances with this bait because there's some real little subtleties that make the Senko such an effective bait. And if you're able to be really patient with it, it can produce some really, really nice fish. And especially on Castaic, where uh, these fish get heavily pressured all the time. Uh, oh, here we go. And like I said, as long as you're patient with it, oh, it's actually not a bad fish. It's actually not a bad one. little welcome back to Castaic fish. That four inch Senko, right on the roof of the mouth, just popped out. Using a, it's a little two watt Hayabusa, little offset worm hook. What a nice fish. It's a cool mark on it. All pre-spawn fat. This could be a male, it could be a female. Huh? It's just in such good condition. Super cool. All right, I'm gonna let him go. Another one.
There we go. Managed to get another one when the drone was up. Pretty awesome. Another really fat fish. This is, I think, one of those uh, one of those six fish that I saw that came out after my like live. Ooh, I think I got this one. A little bit. I get this girl right back in the water real quick. But uh, beautiful fish. You go down there. Sweet. Awesome. All right. These fish that see a lot of pressure in here, you start popping the worm or jiggling it and doing all kinds of crazy stuff with it, they get really turned off real fast. So the more you're subtle with it and real gentle with fishing the Senko, the more it's going to help you get more fish in the boat. When I casted that guide out, I noticed that there was a decent amount of fish that came out after it. So I know that those two fish aren't the only ones in the back of this cut. But again, I'm going to fish this Cinco nice and slow. Nice and slow. And uh, try and get another one of these guys to commit to it. Be really, uh, really nice to get three back here. Also keeping my eye open for beds and that kind of stuff because it is the season and we are coming up on a nice full moon pretty soon. So you never know, might be able to get a, a fish on a bed and then that'd be a complete bonus. You don't get any luck after a couple minutes. Reel it up and repeat. Exact same thing, exact same way of just casting it in. Bloop. Letting it stop, and letting it slowly fall down, just do its thing. And sometimes what I like to do is uh, jiggle the worm ever so slightly. But when I mean jiggle the worm, I, I jiggle the slack. I don't actually, if I feel the weight of the Senko, I'm doing, I'm doing too much. But right here, I'm just bouncing the slack in my line. And I'm making sure that the my other line is staying on top of the water and I'm not really affecting hitting the weight of the worm. And just that little bit of bounce in the slack of your line is enough to give that Senko just a little bit of action. Pick it up off the bottom, super, super subtle. I think I just saw a fish roll over there. Might be a bed over here on this, this stick. Let's see, let's see, let's see. There we go. Again, just letting it fall, slowly sinking, not touching it, not doing anything to it. And uh, sometimes these fish will just come down and they'll boop, eat it on the fall. There's a nice little pile of sticks over there, so hopefully there's a fish off of it, but you never know. Letting it fall down, I haven't touched it yet. Letting it do its thing. It's not an exciting way to fish, guys. Senko fishing is not an exciting way to fish, but it produces. I mean, look at those, the, the past two fish that I just caught in this cut. And uh, here we go. Again, I just felt like the subtlest tick, the subtlest tick of the line right there. And uh, she ate it. Oh, these fish are so healthy right now. These fish are so healthy. go right in the top of the, the lip right where you want it look how fat that fish is man so healthy what a chunker looks like he got like kind of whacked by something else I wonder if that was a striper the size of, a, of that scar is pretty big there you go another beautiful fish here at Castaic out on the Senko. And what I'm doing is I'm fishing slow right now just because it's midday. Um, in another hour or two, I might switch out, push out more towards the main lake stuff and try and find some good conditions to do some more reaction style bait. But 
this is working, why uh, why fix it, right? Sweet. it out of the brush. Chase it right out of the brush. Oh. Come here. Jeez, you fatty. Look how fat these things are. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, epic, epic. Catch and release. All right guys, a little mid-afternoon update. Um, it's about four o'clock now. I think I got like five fish or something like that. I dumped that one. Uh, it's safe to say that I think I've established that they're eating the Sanko. <laughs> but uh, what's new for here at Caste? It's a pretty uh, year-round staple, but um, I think I have a good idea of what these fish are doing. They're definitely starting to push up. They're, they're in the back of pockets, they're in the back of coves, secondary points. Um, seen a couple, maybe four pound females. I did see one in the back that was about five pounds, maybe bigger, but I haven't seen any real, real big ones. Um, so let's see if I can kind of pull out a big fish. That'd be really cool. I'm gonna, basically right now, I'm in the back of Elizabeth. And uh, I'm gonna look around with my uh, my glide some more since it's been able to pull them out pretty good um, but uh, yeah so far fun day man wasn't expecting him to be chewing this well and um, I'm, I'm pumped normally it's like grind all day for a couple bites but you roll into a place and it's bing 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 and it's, it's never never a bad thing but all right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hit this for probably about an hour, and then I'm gonna go and make a run and maybe fish some west walls as the sun's going down, and maybe get a striper on a punker. We'll see. I will try.
this air didn't even fill the pipe. Oh, oh yes, uh. yes, sir. Uh. On the jock band, shoot it right in the face. Another nice one. Chunky mamas. Chunky mamas. Pissing. You know that's time. Wow. These things are beautiful. Feeding up, ready to go. All right, well, they're eating moving baits too. Another one. Ooh. Oh, take a drag. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, that's awesome, dude. This thing smoked it so hot. Oh my gosh. Man, these fish are fired up, man. Back-to-back -back cast, back-to-back -back two and a half, oh, well, solid two, we'll give it that. Look at the markings on its face, though. What a beautiful fish. Jeez, I need to take a photo of this thing.
Oh, that was sick. Small owl. That chunky old smallmouth just smoked my little uh, swimmer. <laughs> Destroyed it. Sick. Oh, that was a good one. Hit it right off the wall. Gosh, these things are so strong right now. That's my biggest fish of the day, guys. Whoa, get in the boat. Oh! Wow. Oh boy. Well, <laughs> four pounder. Jeez, dude. This thing's so fat. <laughs> What a good looking fish. Almost a little nub nose, but just, dude, it's like the length of a, uh, actually look. Weigh it, because I'm, I'm really interested to see. Just for fun, this is my last fish of the day. I'm gonna wrap it up after this. Let's just see, I'm gonna say three and a half. Three point four six. Jeez, man. <laughs> what a big fatty. Alright, I'm gonna get her back in the water. Alright guys, well, that's gonna conclude my day. I was able to figure out a couple things, just like how I wanted to. Um, man, they're chewing right now. I'm super, super stoked that uh, these fish are a little bit ahead of schedule. In my past experience um, with this lake, it's, it doesn't usually pick up until uh, later on in April and May even. Um, but the fact that these fish are put, uh, starting to push up already and it's still March is, uh, is pretty cool. Um, the coldest water, the coldest water I found today was uh, 56 and then the warmest almost 58. Beautiful day out in the water. Not too many boats. Uh, a couple pleasure boaters here and there, and um, everyone was really friendly. And I love, I love when people wave on the on the water. It's it's definitely uh, makes it feel like a, a, a more of a community when when you say what's up to people. But um, yeah, super fun day out here. I like to thank you guys for riding along with me today. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, please hit that subscribe button. I drop a video every single Monday. And uh, if you like what you saw today and you want to see more, hit that like button. And then uh, comment down below what are some of your favorite techniques to use here on Castaic during this time of year. Um, really happy to be able to get a couple in the summer. Um, be able to get a bunch of different fish today. It was kind of like a, it was kind of like a mixed bag of, of catching fish today. But either way, I had a lot of fun. Hopefully, you guys enjoy that drone footage. I can't wait to see how that turned out. But until the next time, guys, you keep a tight line, and I'll see you out on the water. Aloha.